What's up, with it? What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, I ain't gonna lie, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, this is a video that's been requested by some of you guys. Um, and honestly, I felt like I needed to, you know, spend time with the car have this modification on my car for a minute to be able to give you guys an honest review now we are coming up on the one year anniversary of me taking delivery of my 2021 camaro ss 1le vader i know right it's crazy one year has already passed it's been it almost feels like i bought my car just yesterday and by this time tomorrow it'll have already been a year um but as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail today's video, we are talking about the ceramic coating on the car. Is it worth your time and money? Is it worth you getting the ceramic coating? Does it actually work? Do you have the water just bead off? Does the water, do you even have to dry your car off when you, you know, have the car ceramic coated? And when it does rain, does the water just fall off like they say in all the movies, like they say in all the videos, like they say, um, with all the advertisements for ceramic coating and whatnot and is it even worth you know ultimately is it even worth spending a couple grand or a couple hundred bucks at a shop to get your car ceramic coated or should you just do it yourself well all of those questions i'm going to be answering in today's video so with that being said let's go ahead smash that subscribe button for the kid and turn on those post notifications if you haven't already and we'll go ahead and walk over to vader and get started on this video all right you guys so as you guys can see Here's my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE Vader. It is black, and as y'all can see, it is super dirty right now. Um, but if you stand a couple feet away, it looks like it just came out of the car wash, no cap. Now, the reason being is because of that ceramic coating and paint correction. Now, one thing that I will say when it comes to getting your car ceramic coated, I definitely recommend you get the car paint corrected because there's no point in basically protecting scratches and swirl marks whenever you are ceramic coating your car you're basically protecting that paint to where you can go three four days without washing the car and it still looks clean as my car now as far as not longevity goes we are coming up on a year of me having this car and as you guys can tell the ceramic coating has really held up now as far as the cliche does water really just beat up and fall off of your car and you don't ever have to dry your car for me no that's cap okay the water does beat up however if you have the car just sitting still there's no wind touching the car at all whatever have you you will get water spots still as you guys can see let me get close up as y'all can see i still have water spots and that's because the car got rained on and the car was still sitting actually at a car meet post post oaks cars and coffee um it literally rained for five seconds and the car wasn't moving so there you go water spots now what i will say is it is very easy to dry off and wipe down now since it is ceramic coated literally all i do is wash my car and then i go for a drive for like five minutes pull the car into the garage and wipe it down literally the car is pretty much already dried off when you get back from the drive but the towel kind of helps get the spots that the wind didn't get so it's kind of like a win-win i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all okay <laughs> when it comes to ceramic coating your car okay it takes taking care of your paint to a next stage okay you start to like pick up on little things more than you would normally now i'm just speaking from my personal experience the bird poops on your car right and, and I, this is literally something that's happened to me. So take my word for it, it is true. 
you don't have a chance to go wash your car yet so your car just sits in the sun so said bird poop is getting baked on your paint i'm gonna tell you right now get a water bottle and a towel and try to clean that paint as soon as possible because that bird poop will stain your paint now that leads me to my point when you ceramic coat your car your paint is more vulnerable to little things such as stains little things such as scratches speaking of scratches when you get your car ceramic coated if you go the route that i went and get it paint corrected first and then ceramic coated just be ready to see a whole bunch of blemishes in your paint that you've never seen before I'm talking about rock tips that were covered up scratches that were covered up anything that was covered up by touch-up paint will be exposed once the car is paint corrected now with that being said when i first got vader back after getting it paint corrected and ceramic coated there was a whole bunch of rock chips that were exposed on the front bumper and even a fat dent on my hood where my windshield met the roof of the car so not the hood but the roof of the car and, and i literally had to go over it with some black paint from chevy um and yeah it was just not pretty so just make sure you think about that when you think about getting your car done now to sum it all up, is it worth it? At the end of the day, is it worth ceramic coating your car, taking it to a shop and getting it done? I'm gonna be honest, yes. This has by far been the easiest car to keep clean that I've ever owned. And it's a black car at that. The ceramic coating allows you to literally just air dry your car and then wipe it down. Now, with that being said, since your car is ceramic coated, you can't use regular so um, soap. You can't use regular cleaning products. You can't use regular detailing products. None of that. You have to use ceramic coat specific cleaning products on your car. Now, Jack's Wax does a great job. They have a great line of products that you can use to make sure that your car that is ceramic coated stays protected and kind of boosts that protection and kind of helps that longevity that I was talking about. Now, some people say you can see about four to five years out of a ceramic coat. Some people say you can see about two to three. Currently, we're on year one and the car has to go back, as you guys know, um, to get redone as far as the rear bumper goes because the whole rear end um, was redone since I was rear-ended a couple months ago. So with that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I personally think you should get your car ceramic coated. Is it worth going to a shop? Honestly, if you have the time to do it yourself and you can go inch by inch of that car and ceramic coat it, I would definitely do it yourself. Save yourself some money. It's always better to save yourself some money by doing it yourself. But... But if you cannot, then go ahead, take it to a shop. But without further ado, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.